Instagram, uh, there are many ways to showcase your art or your photography or your rock collection, whatever it may be, there are many ways to do it. One of my favorite ways is through a panoramic carousel. Now, if you haven't seen a panoramic carousel, I encourage you to go check out my Instagram. There's a few on there from a couple of the videos we've done in the past, but it's essentially a carousel of images that have no seams, or it's it's a seamless carousel, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I'm also gonna throw in some tips and tricks, uh, different things that might help you create your own custom version of it. Um, so there's different, different techniques, like a gallery style, there's also like a kind of like blend the images together type style. So we're gonna be going over all of those in this tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try to make it really snappy and quick so I don't waste any of your guys' time. So let's jump into it and let's see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, so now that we are in Photoshop, what you're gonna wanna do is import all of your photos into Photoshop. So normally I'll put them on my desktop as like the finals and then I'll import them. Once they're all imported, you're gonna want to open a new page. So go to hit, file, new, and then in this section, what we're gonna pay attention to is this right here, our dimensions. Um, I have a cheat sheet that I use. Um, I'll put it in the description just so you can copy and paste it super easy. But essentially what we're gonna do is for two panels, so two carousel pages, it's gonna be 2160. So it's 1080 times two each time, or 1080 times itself. So 1080 times two, 2160. 1080 times three, that's 3240. Etc. So today, since we have four images that we're working with, we're going to go with the four panel, which is 1350 by 4320. So let's go ahead and plug that in. We already got it. 1350, 4320, and hit create. Now for me, I'm just going to flip this. Let's make sure we have it right side up. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we want to see where we're working. We don't want to be working in the blind. So we're going to go to view new guide layout, and it's gonna give us some borders. Now, if yours doesn't look like mine, mine's probably just from the last time I did it, but you wanna have it look exactly like mine in this section. So you wanna have columns clicked and have four selected. Um, you can add a gutter if you want. So if you hit like 50, it's gonna be like that. But we're just gonna leave it at zero so we don't have any gutter and keep it at four. Then go ahead and hit okay. Now we know what we're working with. So rule of thumb is you're gonna want that first image to be your most kind of wow image, right? It's gonna be the first one that people see. Um, it's also gonna be the thumbnail on your feed. So if you want a good looking feed, you wanna make sure that first image is kind of your wow image. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with either this one or this one. I think we're gonna do this one. This one's super sick, but I think this one just kind of is a little bit more minimalistic. So we'll go in here, Command T to resize it. Toss it in the corner, pull it out. Hit enter. Next, um, so if we wanna do it in a more gallery style, what we can do is come in here, we'll keep throwing images on this. Command T. And we're just gonna kind of place them however we would like. So like this one we'll do right there. <clears throat> this landscape photo is gonna look really nice here in the middle. Something like that. And as you can see, I'm going over these borders. So when, once people are on Instagram, they're sliding, they're seeing this panel, then they slide and they see this panel, but there's no crease in between. So it has a really cool effect to it. Go in here, grab the last image, and we can even make this one have no borders to kind of seal off that end. Something kind of like that. Boom. So there's kind of the final product, right? Looks really good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through and let's just 
hide these layers. This time we're gonna we're gonna try to blend each image to kind of create like a more of like a fade look. And that's kind of what I did on my Instagram. So we'll go up here, get this eyedrop tool, and let's find like a neutral color that all these have, which I'm just gonna say this like light gray. Then go to your bucket tool, make sure you're on your background layer, click on there. And so we'll have that as like background color just to help kind of blend things. Next, with this image, we're gonna want something that has a similar background right here. So we're gonna want something similar to this dark background and this sky background. So between these images, I would say this one's pretty close, this one's really close. Let's do the landscape photo. And now we're gonna try to line this up somewhat with maybe like this mountain, like that. Actually, no, we're gonna pull this all the way up, like that overlap it a bit okay so then we'll go with the erase tool and make sure you have like the fuzzy erase and then what we'll do is we'll slowly just kind of fade this out to kind of match this other image reset something kind of like that now We'll go and grab another image. That actually looks kind of dope right there, honestly. So we're gonna pull this one. Honestly, let's just keep it there. It looks kind of cool, just like that. Next, we'll grab this image. This one we're gonna make really big, just so it forces us to blend. So we'll do like that. Now we'll get the erase tool again, make sure we're on this same layer just kind of blend these in. Something like that. As you can see, I'm on the landscape photo now to blend that a little bit better. Let's pull this more over maybe. So that's kind of what like more of a blend style looks like. Obviously you can take way more time on this and, and really, you know, make it look really nice. Um, we could even get the erase tool and come up here and even just blend this more. Cause once you're in a carousel, if you blend it, this will just naturally fade, right? But so once you have the carousel you're stoked on, you, you really like the look of it. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna split these scenes up. So you're gonna go over here to the crop tool. Normally it's the crop, right click, get the slice tool. And then you're gonna go slice from guides. Once you slice from guides, you're gonna have one, two, three, four panels, right? Then we're gonna go up here to file, export, save for web. Now once we're in this panel, come up to here on the right side, make sure you're at JPEG, make sure it's at maximum. Everything else, just keep it how it is, um, at least from what's on mine. Just copy there and then come down here and hit save. Hit save again. Now you should have an images folder that's exported to your desktop. Go ahead and click that and you should have all four panels. So then you just airdrop that to yourself or email to yourself or whatever you do and you should have a seamless panorama. So that's pretty much it. Um, super easy, super simple tutorial. You just gotta remember kind of those key components. Like I said, I'll throw the dimensions in the bio so you can reference those. If you guys end up using this tutorial, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your carousels and kind of what you create. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.